Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thanks so much for watching today. I wanted to continue on with my series of collab makeup. I didn't realize how much makeup I had that was a collaboration between a YouTuber or influencer and a beauty brand until I started taking inventory. And I have continued to purchase collab makeup since I first started this series earlier this year. But I thought it would be fun to try uh, this again. This is from Dose of Colors. This is the Desi and Katie Frankation palette. I am so excited to dip back into this. It's been a while, but I loved it the first time I tried it. So thank you for watching today. Subscribe if you haven't. And I've got a lot of my face done now. I'm just gonna throw on some eyeshadow. I think the one thing that I always do here is I start out with this uh, bone colored shade and I'm just going to throw this all over the lid. It's a little bit deeper than my natural skin tone. So I have in the past used it as a transition shade, but I think I'm going to use it a little bit more here in the inner corner and then across the lid as well. I'm going to dip into this shade right here. It's kind of a mid-toned, maybe a lighter mid-toned brown. I am going to deepen up the crease with this just a little bit. I forget how pigmented these shades are and it takes very little so I end up tapping off a lot. I'm going to use one of the metallic shades in here but before I do I'm just going to load up some powder right underneath my eyes in case I need to sweep away any fallout. The color that I've been wanting to try and I haven't used in a while is this metallic-y green shade. Oh, so pretty. It has a really nice olive look to it on the eye. I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out. I'm gonna use this lightest shimmer shade in here. I'm gonna use that on the inner corner. It's almost ridiculous how glitzy this is. I wonder if this shade here, this, oh yeah, right in the center, to bring a little light. I have a very minimal amount of fallout. From the shimmer. I'm gonna brush that away. So I'm gonna throw on some liner and mascara and I'll be right back. Do you, do you see this? My hair has a mind of its own. I'm constantly having to... Mm. Alright, so today is not a good hair day for me, but we'll just ignore that as much as possible. I can't Ignore it as much as possible. I'm gonna do my best. Um, this palette I think is really, really remarkable. One of my favorite aspects about this palette, and it's such a lame thing for it to be a favorite, but I love it so much, is the packaging. Cause it just sparkles. It, it looks delicious. It looks amazing. It makes me want to reach for it. But I will tell you that the formula on the inside, the mattes are beautiful. They blend so well. And I think that's true across the board for Dose of Color mattes. Now, these more metallic-y shades here, there are five of these and five mattes. I will tell you that these are the reasons I love this palette. The mattes are good, but there are good mattes from a lot of different companies. Ones that blend well, ones that are pigmented, but these right here are unlike a lot of other foiled shadows. And I think that these are great. They do sell these as singles, not these specific shades, but this formula as singles, if you're interested, if there's one or two shades, you're like, that, that looks good. I know that they do that. Um, and I'm interested to see if they continue adding more of these special shades to other collaborations that they're gonna continue to do. Now, this was the second collaboration with Desi and Katie and Dose of Colors. I'm curious to see if they're going to do a third. Um, but I guess it comes down to, do I love this palette? Yes, I do. Will I continue to reach for this palette, even though it's not something you can go out and buy? Uh, yeah, yeah, I will. I think it's really, really fantastic. And I think that Dose of Colors, this was the first Dose of Colors item that I had ever purchased. 
And I'll tell you, I'm extremely impressed with the quality. So it makes me curious to want to know more about the brand itself. I think the one hard thing about collabs is that they're here and then they're gone. They're out for a limited amount of time, either until their stock runs out or that there is no longer an interest and then they start putting it uh, on discount. And, and I'll tell you, I think that collaboration makeup is wonderful because it's a great way for influencers to be able to show you through makeup what it is they're excited about. And I think that I wish that these sorts of products were not as short-lived as they are. I think about um, the Graveyard Girl Tarte collab that was out for that long. I have one from Candy Johnson and Too Faced that was, again, out for that long. And I, I do love these products so much, but I wish that you could still go out and get them if they were of interest to you. And I know that's not, makeup today is so much it's for now and then like six months later discontinued and we're moving on to something else. I wish we had a little bit more longevity when it comes to products like this, especially ones that are as fantastic as this. So I'm glad I have it. I'm gonna continue to use it. If you have it, let me know if you have a favorite look with certain shades that you do, or you're kind of like, man, I missed out on that. I wish I'd gotten my hands on it. Let me know. If you have a favorite collab, I'd love to know what it is in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.